Hey, what's up guys? Grant here, aka BG Bam with The Strength Project. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the things that I do specifically to help back squat mobility. So here we go. Um, so I'm going to give you some main points that you think of before you even stretch. First of all, think of movements and positions, not tight muscles. Um, a lot of people think, oh, my hip flexors are tight, so I need to stretch those. No, think of what your hip flexors being tight is limiting and try and exaggerate that range of motion to fix your problems. Number two, when you're stretching, test to retest to make sure you're making a difference. If you're doing a stretch and you think it's feeling all right, but it's actually not changing any of your movements, then you need to drop that stretch or alter it to so it's affecting you the way you want it to affect you. Um, number two, two minutes minimum per stretch. If you guys are stretching 30 seconds you know, per muscle group, that's not enough to make significant change. Two minutes is, is the recommended minimum dose to make change with your movements. Um, warm up your body to stretch. You want to get your heart rate going, get your blood moving. You don't want to stretch cold because that is not effective. Uh, I, I usually do a couple high knees in my cul-de-sac, jog a little bit, just warm up generally, maybe jump rope. Um, that's why I also recommend stretching after you work out. Don't static stretch prior to working out. Always static stretch after your workout or at night after your body's been moving. Um, and last, create a plan that systematically addresses your needs. If you have problems with your butt rounding your pelvis, the butt wink in the back spot and it's rounding under you when you're in the bottom position, you need to figure out why that's happening and address that systematically. Think of Think of, once again, think of your positions and think of what limiting move, what limiting tight muscles are stopping you from hitting those positions. Pick the most needed stretches and do them often. All right, moving forward, I'm going to go over some of the five major stretches that I do to affect the back squat. Start with the bottom up. This is one of the best ankle stretches that you can do, a weighted ankle stretch. What you're going to do is you're going to load up a barbell. I usually use about 95 to 115 pounds here. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and put that right over your knee, like that. Just kind of hang out here. I'll just kind of hang back. Let that, make sure that knee is going forward and out. Keep your ankle neutral. Don't let your ankle roll in or out. Keep your ankle flat and neutral. Drive it out over. Switch sides. Yeah, I know that wasn't two minutes, but you guys get the point. Move it on. Next is a little quadricep stretch that I use. This is one of my favorites for knee pain. Go ahead, kneel down, your heels under your butt. Kind of hang out here for a bit. I'm pretty flexible, so I'll just go all the way back and I'll just hang out here. And then you can kind of lean from side to side, it capture a little bit of those hip flexors. But the main thing is, you want your, your quadriceps in the, in the, towards the knee insertion to get most of the stretch here. Once you're done, just roll over. You don't want to kind of, you don't want to pull yourself up because it puts a lot of strain on your knees. Number two or number three, this is one that I picked up from the Chinese weightlifting team. Drop into a lunge. Make sure your pelvis stays under you. Your trunk is nice and stable. Drop your knee down. A lot of people do this stretch, but then they're like, Ugh. Keep your trunk stable with your pelvis under you by flexing your butt. Drop into this lunge. You should feel it down in here in this pocket region. Reach back. Pull that ankle up towards your butt. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And I'll just kind of hang out here and I'll, I'll pull at different angles. I'll lean. Main thing is pull that ankle to your butt and, and kind of stretch your torso away from your hip flexor right here. There you go. That's number three. Number four, this is a pigeon pose. This is going to hit your glutes. This one is key. This one really opens up the hips. I really like this one. Kind of just hang out here. Main thing is keep your ankle flat. You don't want, once again, you don't want to just be loose at the trunk. Keep your trunk stable. Keep your glutes tight, nice and straight. And you can kind of lean forward to each corner, dig around, find your tight spots. Two minutes there. And finally, I get a lot of questions about the hips pinching in the bottom of the squat. Uh, one guy was asking, or was wondering if it was from uh, weak hip flexors. And 
Typically the hip's pinching is because of an impingement. Your femur is ramming into the socket there. So this is a little trick that I do. The psoas is usually extremely tight in a lot of athletes. So this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be a little psoas release because the psoas is typically very difficult to stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay flat on the ground, get a lacrosse ball or a baseball. You want it to stick right about an inch away from the belly button. Lay flat on your stomach and kind of just dig around there. Oh, right from the midline of your belly button and you can kind of dig up and down and, and it's going to be digging way deep in there. Just find your, your tight gritty spots. Hang out for a sec. Roll down about a centimeter. And this is one you can just kind of hang out while you're watching TV. That's why I love it because if you're doing a lot of sprinting and you're a lot of and you're back squatting often, then those psoas get totally fried. So I do this. I tend to do this nightly just to release the psoas from all that tension, and it really helps a lot to to relieve back pain as well. So make sure that's key to your arsenal. If you don't have one of these, pick them up because they're excellent. So there you guys go. There's back squatting mobility from the Strength Project. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.